Hello everyone, this is Ivan with Create Your Future. I am a certified life coach. I specialize in personal development, relationships, and the law of attraction. And most recently, I finished a certification so I could further help my clients with limiting beliefs and blocks through various techniques. So if you are ever interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one session with me, links are down below, okay? Also remember that we're currently running a contest where as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, three lucky winners will be chosen and they will receive a free coaching session with the coach of your choice. All you have to do is make sure you're, you are um, subscribed to the channel and that you are also commenting down below how the law of attraction or the law of assumption have helped you out, as well as make sure you like and share this video so it gets to a lot of people. All right, so today's video is actually, I wanted to do this video because a lot of people are always asking me like, what is blocking me or why is this taking so long? You know, what is the thing that's kind of missing and why is it that your affirmations or intentions might sometimes not be working for you or you might not be seeing a proof of it? So I'm gonna give you various examples and including a success story of a client who always questioned his affirmations and intentions and had been doing this for approximately eight, almost nine months um, to actually get communication and get the relationship going with their SP, okay? So this story starts with his client book a session with me approximately a month ago. This client had been working on his, the with the law of assumption for the past eight months with creating a new assumption of the SP. So what he would do is obviously affirm and intend on a daily base. Um, he would also visualize and do these wonderful techniques that are obviously available for all of us. And he would do it on a day to day to day. Now, one of the things that he noticed is that he would create a lot of anxiety around the intentions and the affirmations, and it started to feel like he was burning himself out. So one of the things that we discussed when he decided to book a session with me was that he had to put more work into himself to start to believe what it is that he was doing or find a balance, which is very, very important when trying to manifest an SP because everyone is different. So everyone has a different approach to their belief system, okay? We all have a different way of uh, how we do things, how we think, and how we experience things, and how we feel things, you know? For some of us, it is easier to feel certain things, and for other people, it's, you know, they might not know what the feeling should be like, so there's a lot of question in their mind. So this client was actually always questioning his intentions and affirmations. So he would start off his day by setting his intentions and saying affirmations, but as the day was going by, he would fall into this kind of, uh, he would start to spiral down in this sense of doubt and fear and you know, all this like, um, when am I gonna see something? I've been doing this for months and months and months and nothing is showing up. What is wrong with me? So of course, that is a reflection of what's currently running in his reality, which was a lot of question, a lot of uncertainty. So when we started talking, we started to work on his limiting beliefs and some of his limiting beliefs was that he really didn't have much trust for himself. He really didn't believe in himself that much. Now, through the law of assumption, of course, what you, you do is that you are trying to assume something new of whatever it is that you wanna bring forward into your life. So whether it's money, a career, an SP, whatever it is, you start to change the thought process around it and start to incorporate a new idea of what that thing is and bring it forward to you by making it easier. Now with a lot of times what happens is that you get frustrated in the process and that leads for a lot of question to come up to where the assumption doesn't really come into a full realization and you cannot live in the end. Okay, so one of the things that we did with this client was to start to incorporate a lot of self-work. You know, one of the things I always tell my clients that self-love is so important when trying to manifest if you have more of an anxious approach to things, okay? If you are more easygoing and flowing and you really don't have much of a story when it comes to relationships or your relationship with money or opportunities, you should see more of a success come to you quicker because you really don't have so much of a living in the past and you're able to be more present and allow for the future to form. Now, if you're a person who has more of an anxious approach 
and you are always constantly in the past, well then you have to start building a bond with yourself to actually build, make yourself believe that what it is that you want is available for you. So this client had a very anxious approach, almost obsessive, and he actually said, you know, it's become really obsessive. And the techniques and the constant need to see what else he could do was so present in his life that he was always reaching and searching for something new because what he was doing wasn't enough. So of course, the universe is going to reflect that back because that's the assumption that he has about himself in general. The assumption was that nothing is ever good enough for me, so therefore, I'm always trying to reach out and control my current reality and not allowing things to actually come into fruition. So some of the things that this client and I did was we worked a lot with self-concept, self-love, and various techniques to keep himself present in the moment so that he could stay now and focus on what is currently happening now and allow for creation to actually bring things about. So what we did, so we worked together for approximately a month and we're still working together. You know, he's still working on the full commitment, but he was able to get um, communication after eight months of no communication and he was able to get an apology and several dates from that, okay? So right now he's feeling more confident and more loose about the whole process to where it's becoming easier and he's not getting burnt out, okay? So examples of what we did was breath work, okay? Those times that he would start to feel this anxious approach, he would go into breath work. You could take in five in breaths in, five seconds in, hold for five seconds and then release. That's a great one. There's so many out there. So I'm pretty sure if you, you research de different uh, breathing techniques, you'll find so many. One of my favorites is uh, um, breathe in for 10 and you don't really have to like, you know, count 10 seconds. You could just say one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine, ten. 10. You hold for 10 and then you release for 10 and be without breath for 10. I try to do this approximately 10 times um, and it really does quiet down the noise within your mind and saying your intentions right after that bring, has a calmness around it. So it's more receptive, okay? Um, another thing that we also did was, you know, work on a list of affirmations every so often, not every single day to where we could actually find good qualities about the client and about anyone, okay? So qualities about yourself, like, you know, I am smart, I am intelligent, I am handsome, I am attractive, I am magnetic, I am wonderful, I am inspirational. So he started to write lists every so often and he would do it like maybe like four or five times a week. Um, that's approximately how he would do it. And he would just start writing and it didn't have to be the same thing, but it was just what he was feeling. So he would give himself five minutes every single, uh, well, however often he would do it, he would give himself five minutes and just start writing to where he would feel confident. Now keep in mind that what he was saying had nothing to do with his SP or his desire. You know, it was all strictly him or what he thought of himself to be, all right? So that's how he incorporate the sense of self-love. Now, he then started to have self-talk about what commitment and relationships meant to him. So while he was driving, commuting to work, he would start saying, love is kind to me, love is available for me, love is so uh, easy for me, uh, commitment is always present in my life, commitment equals loyalty, commitment is wonderful, commitment is exciting. So he started to create a strong bond with relationships and commitment to where he was more available to receiving them, all right? And then he would obviously say his intentions, but when he was saying his intentions now, he was feeling it more. He was using his um, intentions started to feel more like inspiration rather than something that was kind of burning him out. So he did this for, you know, he st st stood by this for a couple of weeks. I believe it was three weeks where he was just doing it. Now, keep in mind, because I don't want you to compare yourself to this story, he, uh, you know, because he, he had a very anxious approach, you know, but he stayed very committed to this. And he really stayed, he really, his main goal every single day was that he wanted to stay aligned with his desire. He wanted to make sure that he was, um, he was representing a sense of himself day to day of the person that has his desire. So this is how he was choosing to live in the end. Now, 
Previous to our session, he would say, I don't know what I'm doing because I feel like I'm living in the end. I wake up some mornings and I feel like he's already mine. And he was doing this and he was doing that. Um, but what happened was that he was convincing himself that he was living in the end, but there was still a lot of anxiety and a lot of obsession around it. So even though you could do all these wonderful techniques and you could have a lot of like shifts in your emotions, you know, that's a good thing, but you want to make sure that you persist on that, on that being. You want to stay aligned with that because that is a sense of you living in the end where you go about your day with no frustration, with no, uh, with nothing that is limited you anything that's going against you, of your desire you want to remain and that should be your main goal your main goal is to stay in this desired state as much as you can um, I know there's so many people people some um, might say the vortex I know um, Abraham Hicks talks a lot about the vortex you know it, but it's, it's about staying into this alignment staying in the state of receiving of openness so even you know self-talk that's why it's one of my favorite techniques as I mentioned in my previous video is because you could actually start to inspire yourself to stay in this great state of like I am deserving of being good I am deserving of abundance abundance means that I get everything that I want and everything is absolutely working out for me because I'm an incredible person and because I'm amazing, I'm sensational, and of course my SP wants me, of course my SP wants to be with me, of course my SP is constantly thinking about me because I'm an amazing, wonderful, exciting, fun, loving person. You know, so you go into these little rampages of just self-love talk or self, you know, positivity and joy and happiness to where you start to catch yourself in these moments where you start feeling like, oh, part of me is losing myself. Well, catch yourself right there and get back on track okay so this client did this for three weeks and he got communication from his sp sp reached out said that he'd been thinking about him which made him very excited and then he moved forward to um, asking him out he went into the first day with having an ease about himself a lot of confidence because he was still affirming about himself he was still working on his self-concept while saying his intention and finding a perfect balance between his technique work and also his life to where things just started to unfold in such a wonderful way. So last time he and I spoke, he was telling me that he's gotten the dates and they've been all amazing, that the conversations are even better and that he just feels so easy about this process and he said i didn't realize it was that easy but we did it you know and he did it you know it was all his work you know i just gave him some pointers and we just discussed certain things and he was able to see his way through the success and he's gonna get more success i know that he is because he's doing it and you can do it too so remember that it doesn't mean that you necessarily all the time have to figure out what's wrong with you you know it, a lot of people say it's like what is wrong with me or am i have a block do i have this do i have that no it's not about constantly questioning yourself it's about you staying in the present so you get out of this habit that you're currently going over again and again and again and again so get yourself out of that habit by doing something different by reacting differently by take, taking a different approach or seeing a different perspective all right so i hope that this video inspires you and it helps you to realize that all you have to do is stay present with yourself, stay loving to yourself, stay confident with who you are, and trust me, you will see tons and tons of success, and I intend that for you. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope that, you, and I intend for you to have so much success in your manifestation journey. I can't wait to meet a lot of new faces and a lot of the old faces. I know that you're on your way to the success that you've been desiring. So thank you so much for all the love and support and I'll see you next week. Bye.